So today I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be needle felting a pennant. So if you're interested in this, stick around and I'm going to show you how I do it. If you're new here, my name is Paige and I am the chief pixel pusher and paint brusher over at Gumption and I do all kinds of art related things on this channel and today we're going to be doing a little bit of needle felting. What you're going to need is a sheet of felt uh, that you can pick up at your local craft store and some wool roving. I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker to assist me in this task today, but if you don't have a maker, don't worry. There are ways around it. Um, I'm just doing this as a quick, easy project so I can make this pennant to go uh, with me to market. All right, let's get to it. I started this project in the computer, so here you can see the pennant as I've adjusted the typography and I'm using Illustrator for those of you who uh, use it. Then I created two different layers for this project to work with my Cricut Maker. So the pennant shape and the typography were on different layers. With my Maker, I can draw with a pen, which I did for the lettering on this. Then I have a fabric cutter that can cut the shape of the pennant. You can see here the Cricut working. One issue that I ran into was the pen. It's not quite as smooth on this felt as it would be on a piece of paper. And so I knew I could adjust some of the felting and the lettering uh, when I actually got to working on it. But I did find that for small lettering, it didn't quite work as well and I had to kind of adjust and pivot for that lower lettering. So you'll see I do remove it at the end of this project. But the maker really cut out a lot of work for me, so it was really nice to use this. You could use scissors and you could draw on your own felt. If you don't have a maker, you certainly don't have to have one to create a pennant. Just a pair of sharp scissors. Here you can see the lettering at the bottom is not great. Next, you're gonna need roving to felt on your pennant. And here I am just going after it. Pretty quick project. And so it was kind of fun and relaxing to work on. Didn't take too long. This is a great activity I think to do while you're on the phone or here I was in a fiber guild meeting and so we were just chatting via Zoom and I was just felting away. So here you could see how the lettering really turned out. I didn't like it so I decided to put a bar at the bottom and that was going to solve my issue. So my time wasn't wasted. So I'll use this at my booth at my farmer's market just for a fun little decoration. If you create your own pennant, please share them with me on social media and uh, I would love to see them. If you found this video helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay creative out there and I will see you later.